So when it comes to using discernment for incubus and succubus part two, I guess, for your wet dreams, understand that no matter what, you can't escape a wet dream because no matter what, when it happens in the spiritual, it'll happen in the physical. When it happens in the physical, it'll happen in the spiritual, literally. So what I mean is when you are going to like before you even go to bed, imagine you're thinking about your ex or you're fleeing someone on your roster. You know, you got a whole starting five. Imagine you're thinking about them five people right before you go to bed. Understand their presence, their energy is so strong because you're thinking about them for some reason. So your mind is lying to you about your delusional ass motherfucking perspective perspective on them it, it placed a lie into your dream so when you're resting you're going to bed you're in another scenario now you're going to a parallel universe so you you do that and then boom you're walking and you're living your life like oh hey you know doing this shit and then you see that girl that you were just th thinking about before you really went to bed you're seeing them in the physical that man and that woman that you're talking to somehow some way y'all know each other again and then somehow you guys get get connected and you're about to have sex but it's like if you really think about it if you watch yourself through god's lens because you're literally god in your dreams so when you're watching yourself you're looking like oh shit i'm about to have sex not knowing that that's a succubus that's an incubus literally about to transmute your energy to them to get them stronger and so when that person wakes up they took your ideas and your energy and now they're flourishing off of it and of course you bust it on yourself or in your pants or in your bed and you're like damn like but don't think of it as a relapse because when you do that you did not relapse so if you on your semen retention journey if you are on your abstinent journey if you are celibate whatever the case may be right you did not relapse because understand you were in a trance you were in another dream but understand dreams are reality so when you go into the physical and you're about to have sex in the side of a room if you do not want to bust if you don't want to sleep with this person think before you do something stop thinking with this and think with this pause and be like damn I'm about to have sex with the Ingus. I'm about to have sex with the succubus. Should I really waste my energy on this person if I don't see myself procreating with them? If I don't see anything, a future with them, should I even bust? No, my nigga. Save your energy for the one that is worth it. Understand, wet dreams are reality dreams. They are really dreams. So you're having an illusion. If you don't want to have this illusion with somebody, then don't have sex with them. Because no matter what, you're going to go your whole life having sex with the Ingus and the succubus and the physical. But spiritually, we are all the same. So when you're having sex with somebody, you are having sex with yourself. That's why some y'all aren't good at sex because you're not good with yourself physically so yeah <laughs> thank you